Hello everyone, my name is Azura Tayabji. I was the 2018-2019 Seattle Youth Poet Laureate, and I'm so honored to share my support to Tessevere today and hopefully give back to the ways that they've supported me throughout the years. Recently, I listened to my Bumpa's Tandarosti prayer for Navaroz, the Iranian New Year my Parsi Zoroastrian family celebrated last month. This spring brings some uncomfortable deja vu. It marks a year since the COVID-19 pandemic. I listened to my Bumpa's prayer over WhatsApp, my family far away on all different corners of the globe. When my daddy ma sings to me over Zoom, her voice is so beautiful, the pixels and the connections stutter. Our connection is fraught by distance, but we still sing. What returns our connection is the resolute faith in spring the blessings that still begin. I'm thankful for the creativity and connection persevering despite the distance imposed on us. Arundhati Roy writes in her recent collection, Azadi, that the pandemic is a portal. We have been thrust into a reality that exposes our inequities, but also our potentials. Tasvir has reached beyond survival in this pandemic. Tasvir has created new portals, Tessevere TV, the film fund for emerging creators. This resilience we must sing our blessings to. Tessevere offered me a creative home when I felt distant, even before the pandemic. As a young, Black, and Indian first-generation woman, I felt estranged from my own culture. Tessevere offered myself and other young poets a stage at the 2019 Lit Fest Youth Reading. They gave me a space to witness other women's powerful testimonies at Yoni Kibat. I could meet other artists who gave me permission to write my truth, my culture, and who remain my peers and mentors to this day. We are going to be asked what we created during these times. Tasvir has been brave enough to reimagine and create, to be a beacon of community when community has been forced to be distant. What art does is give us the power to reimagine our potentials when oppressive structures of this world are dependent on us not. Arundhati Roy also writes that azadi, meaning freedom, is captured in the novel. Creativity is essential for our liberation, our cultural lifeblood, our ability to envision ourselves and our communities as connected, as resilient, as thriving beyond survival. Tasvir is capturing that vision. Let us give it our blessings. And I'll be sharing a poem today entitled Diaspora. Diaspora. If the meaning of the prayer was not passed down to you, find it through holier means than translation. Cling to the rhythm instead. If you were not taught the rhythm, Memorize the clang of knife against yam against wooden cutting board. Keep it ringing, ringing in your ears. If not the ring, then the Bombay Jazz Club, its green lanterns swaying in the long, long night. If you were not given the religion, then at least Bumpa's rosary beads, their five finger-tipped memories indented in thick amber, the gold Zarathustra hanging from your neck or tattooed on a sunburnt back. If the traditions were never taught to you, then cling to tea time always served at 2 p.m. Display the cups and remember that the elders do not take their tea with sugar like you do. You have only a fraction of their blood. You thicken your water with milk. If home did not fit in the carry-on compartment, then the sprigs of lemongrass from the garden will do. The tea bags brought from India will do. The reusable garland in the basement will do. The passport's golden lions show a compass of three directions. The fourth will do too, with its back facing you, its open jaws facing the homeland. If the orthodox genealogy did not show up at the altar of any of the son's weddings, identity still celebrates the melting pot mothers. Inheritance becomes a grateful garland around a brown baby's plump smile. Her laughter, an anthem, her heartbeat, a golden rhythm.
Thank you.